Hello again, this is Sports Betting Whale, Sunday, March 12th. I am one of the largest and most profitable sports bettors in the last 25 years in the state of Nevada and I'm offering the plays and systems to you here to show you how hot we can get on a winning streak with the round robins and then the grinding opportunities for profitability on half times and later some straight up plays. Um, I've got uh, two round robins for you, one that's already started, I'll give you that, but then the additional two round robins that you'll be able to get in after you see this video and those of you that are receiving emails have already received the email for these two round robins. Yesterday on the half times we were slightly profitable, again not what I'm used to at all on that. Um, you'll see a significantly higher win percentage uh, with that. I'm also going to be demonstrating the, the half times that I took early this morning. Show, uh, show you here on the screen. I'm off to a good start on those and I really historically win in the 60s to 70 percent on that. And I know I haven't done it yet, uh, pockets of it, but certainly not overall what I'm used to. So again, that when that's happened in the past, it generally means that I overheat and actually excel on the high side to kind of even things out to where they normally land. In the round robins yesterday, we hit some two out of threes, but we didn't hit any three out of threes. Again, very unusual and very disappointing that we didn't hit the third game on, on, on a lot of these round robins. That's the key to the system to progress is to hit the three out of threes and the four out of fours. Once we get on a winning streak, the uh, negative point units that we've been experiencing will just disappear and go positive so fast that it's going to be shocking to people. It's the great thing about this system is that th its ability to turn around and progress in the positive territory, double, triple digits, almost feels like overnight. I cannot wait for everyone to experience one of my patented hot streaks. It's now extremely overdue and I really look forward to everyone seeing how fast you ramp up once we get on a streak where, where um, the games are landing in our favor and not like this recent trend. I thought we broke it. We're still the vast majority of the games that are close are not, are not landing in the win column for us lately and that's been uh, frustrating. So I really look forward to getting this turned around. Uh, hopefully today's we get back on track in, in a good way. I feel very confident about these plays, taking a lot of um, totals that I've looked at very, very carefully. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and, and let you know the, the first roundy, there was a time change. There was some time changes on the games. So just a lot of people didn't get this first round robin, but it was Rhode Island minus one and a half for the game and Rhode Island minus a half for the first half. Under on Arkansas and Kentucky, the total was 155 and a half, and the first half was 73 and a half. And then over on the Princeton game, 894. I personally um, missed the 894 on the Princeton as well, so that, that's just a wash, but I'll show you the tickets that I took on the half times, first halves, and also on the round robins. The two round robins that are left to play right now and again, if you receive them via email, you're good on the timing. Please take them at two units away for a total of eight. 888 over on Texas State, current line 132. 889 over on Michigan, current line 126 and a half. And 892 over on SMU, current line 127. Why am I taking three overs in the college conference finals? Because all three games are going to be very competitive. Um, they've got at least one team that's been going consistently over and scoring and shooting fast. When you get close games in very competitive championship situation like this, as long as it stays close at the end, what you end up having is, is a tremendous flurry of scoring and fouls and three-pointers and everything else that takes it over. All three of these totals are low. 132 on Texas State should be, in my opinion, in the 140s. Michigan's 126 and a half should be well in the 130s. SMU and Cincinnati's 127 should be 135 or higher is the way I'm rating all three of these. So please get this, this over round robin in, 888 over, 889, 892. Um, what's great about taking the overs is it really doesn't matter 
what craziness happens, which teams hit the threes and which teams hit the free throws at the end. As long as one of the teams is scoring, we'll push it over. And I expect at least one or two of these games to be over before even the last two-minute flurry. Okay, the last round, Robin, we're going the opposite side on the NBA. We're taking the under on 872 Boston. We're taking the under on 876 Brooklyn. And then the third, third pick on that round, Robin, is a halftime, 1878 Houston Rockets. So I'm seeing that the teams that are playing um, Boston and Brooklyn are, um, are going under the total that's, that's listed right now. They're playing a little more methodical, a little more defense oriented. And on a Sunday like this, it's not a high energy d day like uh, a Saturday night or a Friday night. I expect them to play pretty low energy games and I expect both the Boston and the Brooklyn game to go under. Uh, Rockets first half, Houston Rockets when they're motivated come out firing. They, if you've watched them play before you know that they're um, very very solid in the first half if they're motivated. They're playing the Cleveland Cavaliers, they're going to be up for this game. I expect them to come out firing and I expect them to have a, a, a nice lead at the end of the first half. Okay, that's it for today. I'll be uh, sending out via text message and emails the halftime plays. We have um, expect to have a very positive day in both the round robins and the halftimes. I look forward to being back on camera with you again in the morning where you're all smiling. Thank you. Going forward, I'll continue to release all of my daily picks to you for free if you text me or subscribe to my mailing list. So make sure to text me or subscribe to my free mailing list so I can continue sending you all of my picks every day. I've made tens of millions of dollars betting on sports over the years and now I'm finally breaking my secret so that you too can share in my success. All you have to do is either click on the link in the description of this video or send me a text message to my phone number at 702-462-1135. If you're texting me from outside the United States, add the plus one, so it's plus one, 702-462-1135. I will begin texting and emailing you with all of my daily picks whenever they come up. Remember, subscribing to my mailing list is 100% free, no strings attached. And every day that you're not a subscriber to my free mailing list is another day that you may have missed out on one of my devastating winning runs. So be sure to click on the link in the description of this video or send me a text at 702-462-1135 or if you're outside of the United States, plus one 702-462-1135 to join my mailing list today, 100% free. And you'll be the first to know when I release my killer picks every single day. Again, 100% free.